we are in mensuration of plane areas now we move on to lesson four which is a circle so a circle is a closed curve or round shaped figure that has no corners or edges we have here the center of a circle that is the center point in a circle from which all the distances to all of the points on the circle are equal if we are going to draw there a line to the end of the circle that is your radius and if we are going to draw from end to end passing through the center of the circle that is already your diameter that is just 2 multiplied by your r 2 times r that is the diameter so now semicircle a semicircle is half of a circle formed by cutting a whole circle along in a line segment passing through the center of the circle the line segment is called the diameter of a circle so for two semicircle uh, two semicircle that is already a circle okay so for the quarter of a circle that is also called a quadrant okay a quarter circle is a quarter of a circle formed by splitting a circle into four equal parts or a semicircle into two parts so quarter of a circle if it has four quarters that is already a circle okay for the formula of the area of a circle if the radius is given that is equal to pi r squared whereas for if the diameter is given the formula for area is pi over 4 b squared and for the circumference of the circle so for polygons we use perimeter whereas for the circle we use circumference that is if the radius is given that is 2 pi r and if the diameter is given that is pi d okay so having here the example the first example what is the area and the circumference of a circle if its radius measures 7 meters so the given is 7 meters which is the radius now since the uh, given is in radius our area is equal to pi r squared and that is pi substituting the value of 7 there that is 7 squared that is equal to 49 pi square meters or that is equal to 153.93 8 square meters this should be for 49 okay so getting the value of the circumference in terms of your radius that is 2 pi r so that is 2 pi multiplied by the radius which is 7 that is 14 pi meters or that is in 43.982 if it is in uh, decimal form sorry that should be in meters your area the unit for that is in square meters and for the circumference that is in meters okay moving on to the second example what is the area of the circumference of a circle um, what is the area and circumference of a circle if its diameter measures 14 meters so the given is the diameter which is 14 meters and the requirement is the area and the circumference since that is in diameter our area is equal to pi over 4 d squared so that is substituting the value again that is 14 squared it will give us 49 pi meters squared or in decimal form that is 153.938 square meters so if um, we are going to get the diameter let us just multiply the radius that is multiplied by 2 we get 14 so the answers are all the same okay 
So, moving on to the circumference for this one, that is in terms of the diameter, that is simply as pi d. Okay, multiplying that one, substituting the value of d, which is 14, that is also equal to 14 pi meters, or that is 43.982 meters. Okay, that is in decimal form. So, we have our third example, what is the diameter? Of a circle if its area is 49 pi square meters so the given is 49 pi square meters our requirement is the diameter so using the formula for area in terms of the dia the diameter that is pi over 4 d squared so since the area is equal to 49 pi that is equal to pi over 4 D squared and to be able to get the value of D we cross multiply 4 okay so that is 49 pi multiplied by 4 is equal to pi D squared okay so to be able to get that one let us divide both sides by pi so this is cancelled the same with this one it is also cancelled so getting the value of your D there that is 49 multiplied by 4 and we get the square root of both sides so that we may be able to get the value of your d so d is equal to the square root of 49 multiplied by 4 and the diameter is 14 meters so that is our final answer for our fourth example for circles we have here find the length of the common external tangents to two circles of radii 10 centimeters and 18 centimeters if the distance between their centers is 32 centimeters so for this figure if we are going to draw that problem so we have here your um, smaller circle which is the uh, it has a radius of 10 centimeters and for the bigger circle we have the radius of 18 centimeters and if we are going to connect their centers so that is 32 centimeters and if we are going to connect the um, end of the smaller to the end of the bigger circle projecting the radius that is your external tangent since tangents are drawn externally from your circle so let us denote that one as x okay so we formed a trapezoid already so these are the parallel legs which is 10 centimeters and 18 centimeters and the base is x okay okay so if we are going to project a line from the uh smaller circle to the bigger circle that is parallel to x since that is already equal also to x we form here a triangle and for the um, distance of the uh, height of the triangle we subtract 10 to 18 since this is 18 okay that is 18 minus 10 that is the uh, radius of the bigger minus the radius of the smaller radius okay so that is also equal to eight centimeters so if we are going to draw that triangle that is a right triangle since this is 90 degrees we have here your x and this one is eight centimeters and the hypotenuse is 32 centimeters so if we are going to compute for the external tangents of the two circles we use pythagorean theorem that is the um, square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two legs which is this one that is the hypotenuse which is 32 squared that is equal to x squared plus 8 squared okay to be able to get the distance of the external tangent let us transpose that one okay let us have that x squared is equal to 32 squared let us transpose 8 
squared to the left side of the equation that is negative 8 squared. So to be able to get the value of x, the external tangent, let us square both sides. Okay, get the square root. So let us cancel that one. What remains there is the square root of 32 squared minus 8 squared. And the final answer for that one is equal to uh, 8, the square root of 15 centimeters. Or that is also equal to in decimal form, that is 30.984 centimeters. That is our final answer. That is the distance of the external tangents of the two circles. Okay, moving on to the sector and segment of a circle, we have here the figure. If this is the seg segment, so if we have the circle, if we are going to um, draw a chord, so this forms a two segment. So this is the smaller segment and this is the larger segment so for this one this is the segment for this and then if we are going to draw a line from the center to the end of the circle and we have there the radius we form there a sector and this is the central angle which is your theta and for this one the length of the arc that is um the arc length already and if we are going to draw a line outside the circle that is externally that is your tangent line okay for the formula of your sector that is equal to one half r squared theta where your theta there is in regions so we have to convert this one okay we have to convert this one to um pi divided by 180 degrees so that is in region so we have here the example a sector was cut off from a circle if the area of the former is 72 percent of that of the latter find the central angle of the sector so we are given the area of a sector which is 72 percent of the area of the circle 72 percent is also equal to 0 0.72 in decimal form so we have it in here already okay so equating that one let us have the area of the sector which is one half r squared theta multiplied by pi over 180 to be converted to regions okay so getting that one um, let us equate that one to be able to get the central angle which is your theta okay so multiplying 2 and 180 to the right side of your equation it will give us r squared theta pi is equal to 0 0.72 multiplied by pi r squared multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 80. Okay, so to be able to get the value of your pi, let us uh, divide both sides by r squared pi, the same with this one, r squared pi, and this one is already cancelled, the same as true with this. Okay, what remains there is theta is equal to 0 0.72 multiplied by Okay, that is supposed to be multiplied by 2 multiplied by 180. Okay, that is supposed to be 72. Okay, sorry. Okay, so the value of your theta, the central angle is equal to 259.2 degrees. Okay, so for our last example... Uh, second to the last example, let's have this one. A sector has an area of 380 square centimeters. If the length of its arc is 30 centimeters, find the central angle of the sector. So we have there the area of the sector already, which is 380 square centimeters and the arc length with which is 30 centimeters so our requirement is the central angle of the sector which is theta okay we have here the equation one which is the area of the sector one half r squared theta 
by over 180 and since the area of a sector is 380 let us substitute the value there that is one half r squared theta multiplied by pi over 180 so that will be our equation one okay so for this one since the um, arc length is given as 30 we rewrite our equation 2 in terms of your r so that we may be able to substitute the value of your r to equation 1 okay so rewriting that one it will give us cross multiplying 180 there that is 30 multiplied by 180 is equal to r theta pi okay to be able to get the value of your r that is in terms of r is equal to 30 multiplied by 180 divided by um, theta pi okay so we substitute the value of your equation 2 to equation 1 to get the value of your theta okay so rewriting your equation one that is 380 is equal to one half and the value of your r is already equation two that is uh 30 that is supposed to be 30 multiplied by 180 that is divided by theta pi and that is squared multiplied by theta multiplied by pi over 180 okay so simplifying that further it will give us uh, 380 let us cross multiply 2 there that is multiplied by 2 is equal to what remains there is 30 squared multiplied by 180 squared let us distribute the uh, exponent which is 2 that is theta squared pi squared multiplied by pi over 180 and that is multiplied by your theta so simplifying this further we can cancel this out okay so that what remains there is theta for this one we can cancel this what remains there is your pi and for this we can cancel and then what remains there is 180 so simplifying this further let us cross multiply pi and theta to the left side that is 380 multiplied by 2 multiplied by theta multiplied by pi is equal to 30 squared multiplied by 180. Okay, to be able to get theta, let us divide both sides by the coefficients, which is 380 times 2 and pi. Okay, so that is equal to 30 squared multiplied by 180 divided by 380 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi okay so <clears throat> our answer is equal to 67.850 degrees so that is the central angle of the sector that is in degrees okay for our final example let us have this a circle having an area of 452 square centimeters is cut into two segments by a cord 6 centimeters from the center of a circle. Find the area of the larger segment. So if this is your circle and we um, it, it, this is your center and if we draw there your radius, okay, this is your cord so that is this part is the smaller segment and for this one this is the larger segment so if we are going to draw there the triangle if this is your radius and this is the cord uh, there's a cord here okay there's a cord here that is six centimeters and the angle for this one is your theta and if we are going to get the uh, half part of the triangle that is already theta over 2 and this is your 6 and this is your radius so our requirement is the larger segment which is this one the shaded part of the figure 
Okay, so to be able to get the shaded part of the figure, let us um, have this one, this formula. Area of the circle minus the area of the sector plus the area of the uh, triangle. Okay, so for the area of the triangle, let us use scissors formula for that. Okay, so for our formula that is area of the segment is equal to 452 minus the area of the sector which is one half r squared theta plus that is the area of the triangle which is the scissors formula which is r times r multiplied by the central angle which is sine theta Okay. But of course, for the area of the circle that is given already, that is 452 square centimeters. So we may be able to obtain the value of your radius. So getting the value of your radius, that is just simply the square root okay, of 452 divided by pi already. So the radius there is equal to 11.995. Square centimeters, and to be able to get the value of your theta, since we have already this figure, so we use cosine there that is cosine of theta over 2 is equal to 6 divided by 11.995. Okay, to be able to get the value of your theta, let us divide both sides by cosine, and cosine raised to 1 is still the same. Yes, that is already cancelled and what remains there is theta over 2 and we get the reciprocal of cosine. Let us put that up. It will become cosine raised to negative 1 multiplied by 6 divided by 11.995. Okay, so to be able to get the value of your theta, let us cross multiply 2 there. That will become 2 multiplied by cosine raised to negative 1 multiplied by 6 divided by 11.995 okay so our theta is already equal to 119.972 degrees okay so we are now ready to substitute the values of your radius and the theta to the area of the segment which is this one that is area of the segment that is equal to 452 that is the area of the circle minus the area of the sector which is one half and our r there is 11.995 centimeters that should be in squared and we multiply it by the theta which is 119.972 and since that is in degrees we have to multiply that one and we have to convert that one to region so that is pi over 180 degrees plus of course continuing that that is the area of the triangle using scissors formula and your r is 11.995 squared multiplied by the central angle which is sine multiplied by 1 19.972 for this one we don't have to convert this one to regions okay so since that is in sign already okay so for the area of the segment that is equal to 363.684 square centimeters and that is our final answer that is the area of the larger segment of the circle.